Hi everyone. Welcome to the video lesson course Introduction to MATLAB Software. This is our third video lesson. This video lesson teaches you how to define our own functions and create a script file or an M file for MATLAB coding. Generally, the coding for functions are saved in a script file or an M file. So let's open a new script file. First, let's discuss the syntax of creating a function in MATLAB. It should be started with the name function. The return values of a function or output arguments should be entered within brackets. If we have more than one output argument, we can use an array to show them. If we have one output argument, we can omit the brackets. If no output arguments, we can get rid of this part. Next, the equal sign and the input argument should be specified within the brackets of the right hand side of the equal sign with the function name. So function name can be user defined. When we create a function, there must be in command for the coding to stop running the codes written. That's the pretty simple format of a function in MATLAB coding. So let's try to practice this. Let's say we need to have a function of x. So we can type the function name as our own name. Let's say our calc and the input argument is x. Let's say the output argument is y. So it's a function of x. MATLAB has a feature which highlights the entered syntax. It gives a warning. So it says input argument x is unused because we haven't written any codes yet. Then it also says the function return value y might be unset because we also haven't set anything for y. So let's say what we did for the moment. One important thing is the function name has to be the same as the file name. If accidentally MATLAB already has a built-in function name same as what we entered, so we don't want to overwrite it, we can rename it as any different name by right-clicking on the created script file in the working directory. Okay, another additional point is when we enter complicated functions, we should have some descriptions, information related to our coding. Those may be helpful to understand our codes by ourselves or by someone else. So we can use percentage mark to mark anything as just a note or additional information in our coding. We can define the function now. Let's take our function as y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 1 as an example. Okay, so now we have written a simple coding for a function as an M file or script file. Let's save the file. Note that we need to save our script file prior to running it at every time when we do changes to our script file. Now let's try to run our simple function. We can run our codes written on a script file using run button. Otherwise we can go to the command window and call our function. So let's use the second option. If we use to add the editor window to the same working area to see the command window and the editor window together. So we can dock the editor window like this. So we can now solve our function for x is equal to 1 by calling my function name as our calc. within brackets 1. Here 
we got the value of y at x is equal to 1. Okay, let's say we want the values of the function for x from minus 5 to 5 or some range. So we can type x is equal to minus 5 colon 5. So colon is for a range. Let's call our function. So we got an error saying that for matrix calculations we must have a dot before the power sign so let's correct it and save the script so we add a dot and then we call the function again so here we got the values of our function at given x values if we simply give our range in this mode matlab configures values by default as minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 and so on up to 5 Okay, so let's open another new function. This time we select the option as a new function. So we can observe that MATLAB creates a template of a function coding for us. If we open in this way, so we can edit within the given format. In this function, let's try to learn few more things in MATLAB coding. Let's say we want to create a function to choose even numbers from a given set of numbers. So we can use the modulus command for this purpose. In MATLAB it is marked by mod. So MOD mod. So as an example, mod 3 comma 2. The answer equals to 1. And mod 4 comma 2 is 0. As well mod 9 comma 3 is 0 and mod 9 2 is 1 so mod will give us the remainder after division so we can use this for our function to select or choose even numbers We type as y is equal to mod x2. So we call our function for numbers 1 to 9. So we get the answer and there is a little confusion if we need this argument result in binary values. That means we need even numbers to be marked as 1 and others or the odd numbers sh should be marked as 0. We can use the tilde sign. Let's type as tilde mod x2. Now we run our function for numbers 1 to 9. So we get the even numbers as 1 and odd numbers as 0. So in this lesson we discussed how to create a script file or an M file in MATLAB software to write the coding for our own function. We discussed in two simple examples. To summarize, a function can be entered in the format of function within brackets output arguments equal to function name within brackets input arguments in the next video lesson let's discuss how to write for loops while loops if and else loops in matlab software so until we meet with our next lesson have a nice day and goodbye